In Evil Hour is a novel by Colombian Nobel laureate Gabriel Garcia Marquez, published originally in 1962. The story is set in a small, unnamed town that is facing a series of disruptions to its generally tense peace, centered around the mysterious appearance of lampoons that reveal the townspeople's secrets. As the novel unfolds, the town's inhabitants are thrown into a state of fear and suspicion, with accusatory pamphlets appearing during the night. These papers target various members of the community, exposing scandals and igniting old and new animosities among the townsfolk. The lampoons are seen as both an act of defiance and an unsettling invasion of privacy, destabilizing the already fragile social fabric. The central government figure in the town is the mayor, who is more preoccupied with maintaining order than establishing justice. His approach to governance is one of authoritative pragmatism, focused on silencing dissent and containing the effects of the lampoons, rather than addressing the underlying issues they reveal. In the mayor's orbit is Father Angel, the town priest, who believes that the lampoons are the devil's work and an embodiment of moral decay. He suggests that the mayor calls for a public penance to cleanse the town of its sins. However, the gossip only grows more vicious, and the rumors start to take on a life of their own, leading to rifts and rivalries. One of the exposed scandals involves a dentist named Cesar Montero, whose wife's infidelity is the subject of one of the lampoons. Montero's reaction is one of the few outward displays of anger in response to the public shaming, revealing the depth of his wounded pride. Montero becomes a central figure in the attempt to discover who is behind the spreading rumors and what their motives might be. Additionally, there are characters like the town judge, who naively thinks the law can resolve the lampoon issue, and the local shopkeeper, Clotilde, who tries to stay out of the troubles. A young girl named Mercedes, who was deflowered outside of wedlock, becomes a point of pity and gossip, illustrating the clash between the town's conservative values and the changing social mores. Gerardo and his wife are other important characters. Gerardo's injury, obtained when he challenges the alleged author of the lampoons, becomes infected due to his delay in seeking treatment, leading to his death. The incident further intensifies the town's discord and widens the divide between the townspeople. The lampooner is revealed to be a marginal man known as the newcomer, who had previously been disregarded by the townspeople as insignificant. His actions are not driven by personal vendettas, but by his amusement in seeing the consequences unfold from the turmoil he has created. This revelation is particularly damning for the community highlighting their collective paranoia and the ease with which they turned on one another. In the climax of the novel, the festering social tensions erupt into violence. The jittery townspeople impulsively form a lynch mob, targeting anyone they suspect, without solid evidence, of being connected to the lampoons. The mayor's efforts to control the situation lead to a disproportionate response, including the declaration of martial law. The resolution of the story sees the town fractured, with the townspeople left to confront the damage that has been done to their relationships and reputations. The power of rumor and gossip has a deeper impact than anyone could have anticipated, leaving a legacy of distrust and bitterness. The intriguing end, with the cousin shutting himself in with his birds, highlights the individual's resignation to a world gone awry a personal retreat from the chaotic reality of the town's social nightmare. Garcia Marquez employs a tone of irony and dark humor throughout the novel, presenting a microcosmic study of the consequences when private indiscretions are aired against a backdrop of collective paranoia and authoritarianism. In Evil Hour, not only paints a picture of societal breakdown, but also offers a commentary on human nature and the fragile nature of social structures when privacy is invaded and secrets are laid bare. The novel underscores the power of rumor and innuendo to disrupt and destroy lives and criticizes the ineffectiveness of a heavy-handed government in dealing with the complex moral fabric of a community. In Evil Hour is a precursor to Garcia Marquez's more well-known magical realist works, although it largely operates within the realm of social realism. The novel explores themes common to his later works, such as power, isolation, and the human capacity for cruelty. 
The blending of the mundane and the absurd creates a vivid landscape in which the reader can experience the deep-seated anxieties and petty vengeances of everyday life in a small town. Garcia Marquez's precise yet poetic prose captures the subtleties of human emotion and the complicated interplay between public and private life, inviting reflection on the often destructive nature of gossip and the devastating effect that the breakdown of societal norms can have on individuals and communities alike.